Okay, I know this is going to get me in trouble, but oh well. I decided to do a little walk around on this machine. Um, I, there's a ton of videos on YouTube that talk about it, but this is just going to be a quick uh, walk around. This is the printer itself, and then this is the AMS. And it could take, as you can tell, it's it's got four slots in it for four different spools. It has desiccant. It can also be used as a filament dryer. And then the actual work bed and tool head and all that stuff. So I'm going to do a little quick walkthrough on how it works. Um, it's the chute right there that when it changes filament, it... Uh, spits it out the back and then there's also for an extra spool if you're gonna not gonna print with the AMS so um, to load if you buy your filament from bamboo the company that makes the printer uh, it comes with a uh, RFID chip so that when you load it it automatically knows what filament and what color and loading is as simple as just pushing it once the machine sees it, it does all the loading itself. Oh. The spool's kind of small, so it, I mean, there's a little bit left on it. So to print, see, it's telling me, it's already telling me that slot one is orange. And to print, you just go in here. I'm just going to do something real simple just to show you how the machine works. Um, here we'll do this here we'll print this little scraper tells me that it needs PLA uh, it's in there so you hit print now and that's what is going to print the settings are fairly easy and straightforward everything is right there in the machine it shows you the AMS got different utilities you monitor every aspect of the printer through there so what it's doing now is uh, it's uh, heating up the bed and then it will heat the uh, uh, the extruder to its temperature it's starting to heat it now and it heats up pretty quickly so on the inside it's homing the homing the print head I'm gonna pause this and come back in a second another thing I forgot to mention about the bamboo spools is they're reusable they actually come apart and when you buy filament from bamboo you can either buy it with a spool or you can buy it just in bulk and then you take the spool apart and slide it over the uh, the bulk roll and there you go and when you buy them through bamboo it doesn't matter whether it's uh, on the spool or just in bulk they all come with the RFID tag which is pretty ingenious but as you can tell you can use other filament without any problems it just doesn't set it up automatically you just have to go in there and put it in settings what material it is and what color okay so it's just done finished feeding the filament in and now what it's doing is it's purging it in the back there so as you could probably see it used to be green and now what it's doing is purging out all the green that was in there and switching it out for orange. Put some filament back here. There's a little trap door back there that closes. Now you can see it switching to orange. feeds it a little bit at a time as it's as it's doing it. All the fans just kicked on. So now what it did was it uh, opened the chute up 
Now it's cleaning the print head off. This vibration that you see is uh, vibration calibration. It's got a, a force sensor in there. So it tests that out. So it can it can detect all movement inside the printer. It's cleaning the print head off again. Now it's actually rubbing the print head back and forth to make sure it gets all the filament off of the nozzle itself. Now this machine has got LiDAR and what it'll do is it'll print a line right here on the front of the, the bill plate. It'll print a bunch of lines and then the LiDAR will analyze those lines to make sure that it's putting down the perfect amount of filament. Again, it's vibrating the bed to calibrate the sensors. Now it's checking the bed level, make sure that the bed's level. Now it will do this, you can have it set up to do this every print to make sure that the bed is perfectly level or you can turn it off for every print. I just did it for this print just to show you how uh, what the machine does. Okay, now what it is doing is vibrating the machine at different frequencies so it can compensate for any movement in the machine. And it's how it's capable of printing at such high speeds. The uh, bed level calibration, it actually checks the bed in 16 different locations. So again, this has got an accelerometer and it checks the, uh, the vibration so that it can compensate when it's printing at really high speeds. So this is a test print. It actually goes down and prints this little box thing here. Now it's going to print four lines, different thicknesses. And again, you can have it do this for every print. It takes seven minutes from start to finish. Or after you print it so many times, it'll you don't really have to rely on it. You can just print it without the calibration part. So now the LiDAR is going in and checking the, the sensor. Checking to make sure that the lines are perfect. Now it's going to go over and scan the lines themselves. It does this to detect the flow, the perfect flow rate for the filament. And again, it does this all automatically. You don't have to do anything. As you saw in the video, I just pushed one button to get it to print. So it's done with that. Now I'll go back and print the test line in the back. And then it'll start to print. Once it gets done with the first layer, that it's laying down right now, it'll actually go in and scan that layer and make sure that layer is perfect. If there's any problems with that layer, the machine will pause and let you know that there's problems. You can come in and look at it. If it's something that you can accept, then you can go ahead and print resume. Or if it's not, then you can stop the print and uh, figure out what went wrong. But it doesn't just doesn't go wrong. 
Now the first layer is always really slow because it's being really precise about how it lays the stuff out. While it's doing that, you can see on the screen here that it gives me uh, how many minutes remaining. And you can go in and change the speed if you want. You go into settings, and there's the speed. So we can go standard, sport mode, or ludicrous mode, which ludicrous is ridiculous. So now it's scanning that first layer. Making sure that it laid it out perfect. Purging the print head. And now it'll start printing at speed. And this is normal speed. This is not anything faster. This is just regular speed. Okay, this is ludicrous mode. There's a silent mode which just slows it down. This is 50% of normal speed. We'll go back to standard. Okay, so it just finished the object. It's lowering the print head, or lowering the bed rather. Now this is cutting the filament inside the print head and it'll go back here purge out what's remaining and then it'll wind the excess back up on the spool and unload the filament out of the machine so basically it's clearing the machine of filament and that's it it's done It'll also should send me a message here telling me that uh, the print is done. It might not do it because I'm sitting here in front of the machine, but anyway, take the print bed out and part comes off nice and easy. And that's it. Okay, so folks want to see how easy it is to use the, uh, the program. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up and we're going to open an object. This is what we're going to print. Over here I've got the colors for each slot that I preloaded. And to color, I hit the little pink tool up here. And it gives me all three color slots, or all four color slots. I'm only going to use three colors for this. So I select the color I want, and then I just simply go in and click on what I want to paint. It pretty much automatically selects the area. So I'm going to change the to white, and go in and select the colors. I mean, it's that easy and from there I hit slice and it slices it this is what it looks like as it's printing it shows you how the, all the layers that it does and then it gives me the time how much material it's going to take for each color and then from there I just go up and hit print plate and it tells me what colors are loaded 
and I just hit send when it's time to send. I don't have anything loaded in there, so it's not showing it, but hit send, and then it sends it to the printer and prints it out, and that's it. It's that easy.